Oh, yes. Now to my favourite story of the week. The undercover sting by Al Jazeera that trapped two One Nation officials. The party One Nation has been exposed hunting for tens of millions of dollars in political donations from American gun lobby groups, including the powerful National Rifle Association. If One Nation could get $10 million, yep. you'd pick up eight Seven, eight Senate seats. That guarantees you balance of power. I mean, that means you have the whole government on the ball. Yes, but like in any situation where you have someone by their balls, it's a good idea to check that no one is filming you. <laughs> the three men in that clip are Pauline Hanson's Chief of Staff James Ashby, One Nation's Queensland Party leader Steve Dixon, and the person secretly filming them all is Roger Muller. Now, Roger spent three years undercover for Al Jazeera posing as a gun advocate to expose how the NRA influenced politics worldwide. He was so convincing that the NRA even put him on TV. Here in Louisville, Kentucky, at the NRA annual meetings, I'm very pleased to have with us uh, Roger Muller. You're the founder and the president of Gun Rights Australia, right? Gun rights, that's correct. As uh, Wayne says, you know, the only thing to stop a bad guy with a gun is a good guy with a gun, right? Yeah. <laughs> he fooled the NRA, although, to be fair, they've never been big on background checks. <laughs> So, so, how did Roger do it? Well, he created a fake lobby group called Gun Rights Australia and made videos aim at convincing the world that he really loved Australia and really loved guns. Roger Muller is the public face of Gun Rights Australia. Hey guys, Roger Muller here from Gun Rights Australia. We don't have our rights as gun owners diluted. And they've come out with legislation that picks on farmers. Oh, this guy is good. He stood in front of the Opera House, so we know he loves Australia. Then he stood in front of the Harbour Bridge, so we know he double loves Australia. <laughs> but does he love guns? What do you reckon? <laughs> With the NRA convinced, Roger just needed a shabby, opportunistic political party with no moral compass who would do anything for money. In 2018, Roger attended a One Nation function in Sydney. When Roger introduced himself to James Ashby and told him about his powerful US contacts, the One Nation chief of staff said he wanted to meet them. You know what that means? Boys trip! Yes! <laughs> this is an actual photo of the three of them in America. Why do they have a lion? Nobody seems to know. <laughs> but you know the saying, what goes on tour stays on tour, unless Al Jazeera is secretly filming. <laughs> First up, the boys spent some time hobnobbing with a US congressman and giving him a sophisticated analysis of Australian politics. You've got a political party called the Greens. They are... It's like, honestly, they are the worst people. Yes, but enough with the pleasantries. <laughs> it was time for the people from the party who don't want foreigners to interfere with our country to go around inviting foreigners to interfere with our country. In his pitch for money, Dixon makes a remarkable offer. One Nation will alter the electoral process in Australia if Coke Industries gives them money. We can change the voting system in our country the way people are voting. We've got the money to do it. We like probably two things. We like money and uh, we like people on the ground. Actually, probably three things. Uh, money, uh, people on the ground and a basic understanding of when we're being filmed. But other than that, <laughs> we are tickety-boo. The story broke on Tuesday and the two men, now exposed, claimed it was just the booze talking. I'll be the first to admit, we'd arrived in America, we'd got on the source, we'd had a few drinks, and that's where those discussions took place. We were three men talking together and we were having scotches for about three or four hours, and that, that is the truth of the matter. Yeah, we were just three men and a lion innocently <laughs> having a few drinks. I mean, it's not like... It's not like they were sitting in Washington, D.C., the centre of the free world, talking about how they would change the future of the planet. Think about it, we're sitting in... Washington, D.C., the centre of the free world, mm -hmm. talking about how we might change the future of the planet. <laughs> if it gets out... <laughs> and rock the boat. This shit goes through my head every single minute of yeah. my day. Ah, oh, poor Ashby. If only some of the things that went through his head stayed there instead of coming straight out. <laughs> now, the fallout... The fallout is ongoing. And with James Ashby and Steve Dixon both reeling, by my count, there is only one man who hasn't got what he deserved, and that is Roger, who, to pull this off, fooled one nation 
fooled the NRA and even fooled his own family and friends into thinking that he had become a pro-gun lobbyist. So, Roger Muller, on behalf of The Weekly, I present to you this actor award <laughs> for best supporting conspirator in the political drama The Lion, the Snitch and the Islamophobes. <laughs>